start. There has been some reference to the improvement in our economic situation also. We find that we have made good progress in production. We were faced equally with a difficult situation so far as cloth was concerned. There was a deficit of food and there was also shortage of cloth. I do remember the scenes that we had to witness in several cities where people had to stand in queues for hours together for two yards of very ordinary cloth. But now the situation is quite changed. We have produced much cloth and we are in a position to export cloth. During the British period we were required to import cloth but now we are in a position to export cloth. After partition we were faced with the question of raw material namely cotton. We had cotton mills but cotton remained in Pakistan. Even that problem has been solved. We had placed before us a target for more production of cotton and not only has that target been achieved but it has been achieved in shorter period to the satisfaction of all people in the country. Stop. Para. From this survey, sir, you will find that everybody should be convinced that we are making good progress in the realization of the objectives of the five-year plan. Para. Then there is a reference that in several essential commodities, we have got increased production. This cannot be denied. In spite of this increased production, I must admit we have not been able to solve the question of unemployment. But efforts are being made to ease the situation so far as this question is concerned. Para. The main thing to which I would like to refer is that the president was pleased to say and say very plainly that so far as cottage industries were concerned, we have not been able to make good progress. As a matter of fact, very little progress has been made. If in this country we have to solve the question of unemployment, we must take and take very seriously to the development of cottage industries. That alone will solve this problem of unemployment. We want to increase production, but we want to take to such means for increasing our production as would be man-absorbing and not man-saving, as have been resorted to by the Western countries. That alone will solve our problem to a very great extent. Para. If we organize our cottage industries, if we take to the spirit of Sadeshi, I have no doubt we will solve the problem of unemployment to a great extent. Para. Then, sir, a reference has been made to certain additional projects which have been included in the five-year plan. There was a great demand from Maharashtra to include this project in the five-year plan. A couple of years ago, there was a conference presided over by my colleague from the district, the present revenue minister of Maharashtra. He had presided over it and there was a anonymous demand supported by practically the entire people from Maharashtra that this project should be included in the five-year plan. I take this opportunity to congratulate the government of India and the government of Maharashtra for having seen to it that this project in Maharashtra is included in the five-year plan. Para. The President's address makes reference to the improvement of our transport and communications. Our increased production leads to the question of better transport facilities. The agricultural production is on the increase but sir, if there is no betterment of our transport facilities, this increased production in agriculture will not benefit the agriculturist. In my part of the country even now this situation prevails. The production there is on the increase but the agriculturists are suffering on account of inadequate facilities of railway transport. I was glad to find from the President's address that the railways are thinking of opening even new lines very soon. It has also been said that so far as locomotives and rolling stock are concerned, the manufacture of this is going on very satisfactorily and we have made good progress in this respect during the last few years. Any nation can be proud of this achievement. Para. Then there is a reference to the housing conditions. 
we can very well remember the scenes that we were required to witness immediately after partition. Thousands and tens of thousands of our brethren came to this country from Pakistan. It was a very serious question as to how to house them, but the day has come when the question has practically been solved. Or it can at least be said that we are near the solution of the question. 72 crores of rupees have been spent during the last few years in constructing houses for the refugees and in this very city we are witnessing an exhibition where we can see the models of cheap and decent houses. If these cheap houses are constructed for the refugees, it will provide shelter for them at a low cost. Stop. Stop.